welcome to my little film and TV channel. We're going over to a, a series. It first aired on HBO Max back in August. Yeah, August the 12th, 2021, a while ago. But uh, it's actually just uh, started showing here in the UK on Netflix. So I thought I'd have a quick look at it, even though some of you may have seen it and enjoyed it or not enjoyed it, depending on what it is. It did actually conclude on HBO Max on the twelfth, on the twenty first of October, sorry, twenty twenty one, consists of thirteen episodes, and of course we're caught, we're talking season three of Titans, yeah, uh, executive produced by Akiva Goldsman, uh, Jeff Johns, Greg Walker, Greg Belanti, Sarah Schechter, and Richard Hatton, with Walker serving as showrunner for the runner for the third consecutive season. Of course, it's based on the DC Comics team team Titans. Uh, yeah, a multitude of stars, a multitude of titans. Uh, Brenton Thwaites is uh, Dick Grayson, uh, also Nightwing and Robin. Victor Sawchuk and Jag J Taj Levy as young Dick Grayson. Anna Diop as Coriander, Coriander's Starfire. Tegan Croft as Rachel Roth, Raven. Ryan Poster as Gar Logan, Beast Boy. Connor Leslie as Donna Troy. Curran Walters as Jason Todd, Robin Redford. Josh Joshua Orpin as Connor Superboy. Damaris Lewis as Command, Com Com Commander Blackfire, Savannah Welsh as Barbara Gordon, Minky Kelly as Dawn Granger Dove, Alan Richardson as Hank Hall Hawk, Vincent Carthesa as Dr. Jonathan Crane, yeah, and others as well. This is that's part of the problem for me in this one, to be honest with you. Uh, in this first season, the Titan teams, Dick Grayson, uh, Corey Anders, Gar Logan, Connor, Dawn Granger, Hank Hall travel to Gotham City. Yeah, one of my favourite things. I'll talk about that in a bit. The, the series Gotham as well. After learning that their former teammate Jason Todd was murdered, tasked with protecting the city in the absence of Bruce Wayne, the Titans find themselves targeted by a resurrected Jason, now calling himself Red Hood. These but Jasons come back to life all the time, don't they? Dick working alongside former vigilante partner and love interest Barbara Gordon in a new role as police commissioner is forced to receive assistance from incarcerated criminal Jonathan Crane in stopping Jason. Further tensions emerge as they're bound to be with this sort of uh, number of characters when Corey's sister Blackfire takes up residence with the team despite conflict between her and Corey. Meanwhile, Titan Rachel Roth trains with the Amazons in Themyscira as she attempts to resurrect fallen teammate Donna Troy. There you go. So lots going on, as you'd expect from 13 episodes. Uh, Score-wise, Internet Movie Database Season 3, obviously quite a lot of reviews, as you'd expect. It's been showing for a while now on HBO. Anywhere between as low as 6.8, which is a total disaster, 6.8 out of 10, and 9.1 out of 10. So... Yeah, it is one of those things for me personally, score wise, it did improve as the series went on. Some of the middling episodes did uh, would have scored probably quite low for me, to be honest with you. It did get a bit a bit a bit meandering, a bit a bit boring towards the middle. I come into this being reasonably satisfied with seasons one and two. I think I prefer season one to two. I'm not I don't think everyone agreed with that. But uh, I've got no knowledge of the links to the comic books, of course, what's happening in, the, obviously, the originals. So I have, I have no idea what happens in that. So I'm watching this basically just as a TV uh, episodic thing uh, without knowledge of what's going on. And as I said before, one of my favourite series of recent times has been Gotham. I, I do enjoy Gotham. I've, I've watched every season of that and enjoyed it up to, I can't remember what the last season was now, but I've enjoyed that. Uh, and most of the action in this season three, of course, is set in got is in and around this world of Gotham. Obviously, a different sort of time to the Gotham we we watched on the TV series. But uh, so it was a lot, sort of in interest to me to show that to see the links. That that was a good a good thing. The problem with this for me, and I read out all the characters there. It's it's just the number of characters. It's very hard. To you know, to sort of invest in many of these characters, just so many of them getting little stories, etc. Some getting more than others, as you'd expect. But uh, some had interesting journeys, some perhaps not. But the early episodes, as I said, to the middle got a little bit boring for me. It just it just felt all a bit too long. Uh, as the series reached its final chapters, yes, things did liven up. I, I did quite enjoy it a lot more, but uh, it took a long time to get there. Uh, I liked three or four of the main characters, but didn't particularly care less for, for most of them, unfortunately. There's also very little jeopardy in the series. I hate this jeopardy aspect of the thing. I, I like to invest in a character, and if, if a character dies, I like to be upset, but... 
you can't really do that in this. It's a little jeopardy because you just sense that what with one of these these multiple heroes in multiple universes, multiverses, etc. That if one died, uh, even even if they didn't find a life, they've got a life somewhere else. If this find a way of coming back in this world you know uh, alive in this world so there's no real jeopardy or upset if something bad goes wrong and i just don't like that multiverse scenario across all dc and marvel stuff not particularly this series but in this particular it seemed even less likely that uh, if someone died they'll come back they'll find a way back into into this into this world anyway not never mind a multiverse uh, some of the subplots are okay. Some of the subplots are a bit weak. I mean, the main plot is okay, but again, 13 episodes is perhaps just a little too long to remain fully invested in this. I watched over a period of three days, so I didn't binge. I binge watched it, but it was sort of longer way, uh, probably uh, about four shifts over three days. And to be honest with you, it probably is a better watch weekly on HBO as it appeared weekly. It probably was a better watch and probably would have scored it a little bit better. But uh, overall, it just for most of this uh, run, it just it was okay. It's just me. It's just one of those me. Okay, it was fine. Uh, I'd rather be concentrated on just three or four of the main superheroes. But then again, that's not the point of Teen Titans, is it? It's Titans and there's quite a few of them. So that's the old point of the comic book, of the old point of the TV series. But it's just a quibble that... I find I find hard to invest in characters when when so many share the screen with so many things going on. So it was okay. It's certainly the last two or three episodes sort of bumped it up a little bit. But for me, it was all very average and sit on the fence. It was just something I'd probably have on in the background while I'm doing other things. It's not something that I was really fully concentrating on by episode three or four. I was getting a little, little just a little tired and bored with it. So I am going to give it a, an okay score. I'm going to give it a 5.5 out of 10, which isn't fantastic, but it is that just sat on the fence. Uh, yeah, I can have it on in the background and do other things, which, which I'm quite happy about. I'm a busy lad, so but, uh, that, that doesn't bode well, does it? I mean, I certainly don't like to do that when I'm watching stuff stuff like Gotham and other other series. So, yeah, a little bit disappointed. Perhaps it's run out a bit, bit of steam. I'm sure there's going to be a season four. I've not checked up on that. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think anyway, guys, of, uh, of this set uh, uh, Titans. Uh, obviously, could, could I just call it Teen Titans? I don't know. I'm sure there wasn't a copyright problem. I assume they have the copyright for it. Anyway, let me know what you think about this. But as I say, it was a bit meh, bit meh as we say, a bit meh for me, to be honest with you. Anyway, thanks for watching. We're going to rest day. Have a great one. Look after yourselves. Look after your friends. Look after your families. More important, let's all look after each other. To meet here again on the Film and TV channel. Please have a look at my. If you're interested in football, I do a, a citizen channel which looks at my football team, Manchester City. Or if you know somebody who might be interested, please give me a little nudge in my area. All, all, all thumbs up. So welcome, guys. Press that notification board as well. But if it's not on there, it's not over at the football. If you're not interested in football, don't worry. Loads of stuff on here. I'll meet you back here on the Film and TV channel. And all I ever ask you to do is please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.